is a hot one. What's up guys? How's it going? Mark from 408. It has been a hell of a weekend. So it's uh, we have May 2-4 weekend here in Canada. Our long weekend. Monday is a holiday. And I swear it's been like we've been out on holidays since Wednesday. But we've had a lot of fun. Uh, what have we done? I think I've road, we golfed, we're golfing again. A couple parties, bonfires, birthdays, even though we're still in lockdown. Um, and yeah, anyways, Mr. DeVries called me, said he's got this new machine, this new tool, I forget what it's called already. But he said he can cut through steel super fast, like super thick steel. And then he said he wants to cut through a boulder. So I'm gonna find a, yeah, probably a thousand pound boulder, let's say, give or take. And uh, yeah, it says he can cut through it, cut it in half. So it should be very interesting. So he should be here shortly. I'm gonna pick this thing up. We got Nala. She's just hotter than a dog right now. So she's probably gonna go for a little swim in the river shortly. She loves it out here though. So yeah, let's pick this boulder up and uh, see what we can do. Also, I got my hair cut finally. Laura's mom cut it for me. Woo! I was starting to look like Wolverine. Here we go. Speed demon she is. Whew. So this is the boulder. She's pretty heavy. The tractor is having a fun time. I'd say two, three thousand pounds maybe. At least two thousand. So he said I need to get some jumper cables. So I'm just gonna walk up and grab those. Throw an all in the river real quick because she is probably a roasted by now. And then, yeah, he should be back by then. I'm excited. Should be interesting. No. no. All right, Mr. DeVries has arrived. So we got the boulder, tractor's dead, so I had to boost it with the no-co, didn't feel like taking it off. Let's uh, see if we can cut this boulder in half. Should be interesting. Probably a little dangerous, but yeah, that's the name of the game. And I was pumped, she's like, let me give you a hand with that. There's only supposed to be 20 today, but she's 28 currently, quite warm. Ah, I dropped some poop. Got all my safety equipment on here. So this is the boulder. I don't know how big it looks on camera, but she is big. That's my foot. <laughs> All right. So what's this rig called? Oxygen thermal lance. Oxygen thermal lance. And it burns through anything and everything. Huh. Never seen that before. <laughs> you got your protective equipment? Absolutely not. Perfect. Me neither. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a coat. I feel like rock kind of spatters and pops. I like metal. Well, metal does it too, but I'm excited. This thing is massive. Oh my god. It's definitely a big one. I brought my GoPro, we'll put it up close. I'm probably gonna stand a few feet away. Where's the dog? Oh, there she is. She likes it down here because she can go in the river and cool down. She's got a lot of fur to work with. Yeah, you gotta try that. 
Oh, he started a fire. That's good. Look at that. Got a little indent in her. Nothing too crazy. Giant sparkler. <laughs> Looks like you're getting a little hole going there. Doesn't want to stay going. Next rod we'll do a slow-mo clip. More power. New rod. That was quite the contraption. I'd like to see it cut through metal. Probably cut through that bucket in half a second. I like to stay lit. That thing is pretty wild. <laughs> that is intense. <laughs> Holy. The freaking heat off this thing is crazy. <laughs> At least the dog's hanging out over there. Eating some dead fish. I'm thinking I put it on slow mo for the next ride. I'd say so too. Yeah, let's do it.
Well, she's getting there. We're a couple inches in. How many more rods you got? A couple stubs. I don't know if you'll make her all the way through, but. I would just keep going from that side. All right, keep her going here. Stay out of the danger zone. Is that? Pretty hot. <laughs> Glad I'm wearing my, my work boots here. <laughs> yeah, that last time looked pretty good. Looked like you're. because I was going a little bit more of like in and out too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it takes 4,000 degrees to cut a rock. Really? Yeah. It's extremely hot. It's way higher than steel. I believe in you. You can do it. <laughs> We're so close. What you think of that? I think we've got one, two more. Two stubbies. She gonna be long enough? What's that? Oh, it's cracking it. It was superheating this area. Oh yeah. Bust right off. We're cool. Yeah, let the lawn on fire there. Like you go this way, you could. I would just keep going that way. No, I was looking for snacks. <laughs> it definitely don't last long. Smells like burning rock. All right, one more. Come on. <laughs> that's it, that's all? All right. Well, we tried. We know for next time. We cut a pretty good slot in there. And uh, yeah, she's a few inches in. Obviously, I'm not going to stick my finger in there. I won't be sticking any foreign objects in there. Here, I'll show this one. Hold on. Yeah, a couple inches. Close. <laughs> Oh yeah, a rock. Do rock carvings. Yeah. Well, one day someone's gonna find this rock and be like, "Why is there a giant hole in it?" <laughs> oh, I bet. Well, this is a little bit, a little bit cold. Not that bad, I think. All right. Well, next time we'll have some bigger rods. We'll keep this rock here, and uh, we'll try and. Let's get one of those ten foot ones. Yeah. Just do a one off. Boom. <laughs> All right, check out uh, your Instagram. What's your Instagram again? DeVries Custom Welding. DeVries Custom Welding. So check them out on Instagram. Give them a follow if you need them to cut anything in half or cut a hole through it. Yes, no problem. Yeah, no or if you need any welding. Here's your guy. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic day, and uh, hope you had a fantastic long weekend for the Canadians. See you guys later.